Greetings, fellow adventurers. Timberwolf here, another Dead Island 2 adventure. So, uh, about to start the little uh, side mission here. Dez and the Mother of Satan. Sounds pretty fun. Hey, but before we do that, I've got, I came across something else, uh, some more advice I have uh, for, for your general gaming um, enjoyment. Just something that might be helpful to you. And uh, you might have already figured this out, but if you didn't, um, then I'm sure you will appreciate this. So let's head on over to Ocean Ave right now, which is the Sterling Hotel. It's, you know, one of the one of the last areas to unlock. And it's, it's a big one, too, because all of the goodies that you get from, like, the bonus content in the game, from getting, like, the, the season pass and stuff like that, like um, Fenry's Howl, which is a super powerful shotgun, and a bunch of other things, pretty much all of that is um, available at the Sterling Hotel. That's where you get that stuff. But I found out something about it. So, obviously, once you unlock it, you can fast travel to it. Now, here's the thing. Um, oh, hey, look, something I didn't ransack. Oh, I've already full of metal parts, so I don't need those right now. Yeah. Um, you never know what's going to pop out. It's random. But anyways, of course, so one thing I wanted to mention, okay, um, depending upon what level you, you know, when you first unlock this place, you might be super excited thinking, oh yeah, who I want to go get my, get my bonus content or my bonus weapons. Hold up. Here's the thing. The level of those weapons is going to be whatever level you're at when you decide to go redeem them. So, for example, if you're at level 15, like, for example, here, here's the thing, Peggy, right? Peggy, the rifle that you get from from uh, from Carl. Peggy is the, one of the first uh, good guns that you get, right? It's a high-powered sports rifle. Whatever level you're at when you are when you complete that mission, that's what level Peggy's at. So, for example, um, there, nope, that's not her. There's my Peggy. It's a level 15. I'm at level 23 now, so that gun is just not going to cut it because the enemies scale to your level. So that level 15 Peggy is not going to be very useful to fight the beasties anymore. Luckily... Um, you know, I've, you know, during all my fighting, I've gotten a better, um, sport rifle that I'm using now, but nonetheless, yeah. So my advice is I, you know, well, I mean, it's up to you what level you want to be at when you, when you acquire those weapons. But if I go here right now to this guy, right? Trader. So all those items that are zeroed, those are bonus items that I've, that I have access to. That I can claim whenever I want. But they're going to be whatever level I am at right now when I claim them. So obviously that means that as you continue to level up, they'll become less and less and less useful. So keep that in mind. So for me, I've decided I've already got some great gear. Um, I know these are some of these are fr fantastic weapons like these swords are really good. Um, that, I don't know how good that is, but um, the swords are really nice. And, of course, Fenry's Howl is a, uh, is a fantastic shotgun. But I would rather them not be 23 because then when I get up to level 24, 25, 26, suddenly these will no longer be useful. And I'll just have to, you know, stick them, stick them, you know, put them somewhere and I won't be able to, uh, they, you know, they won't be useful for me anymore. So, because you only get to claim these once. So that's just a suggestion that you might want to hold off. Don't be in such a hurry. Unless, of course, you desperately need something. I mean, if you're like, I, you know, all my weapons are crap sucktacular, then, I mean, I get it. You know, you got to grab what you grab. But if you can hold off like I can, I recommend you do. Um, and you might actually never need to claim them either, honestly. You might keep on getting good weapons. You know, um, one of the great, greatest ways to find um, awesome um, zombie killing weapons is buying fuses from uh, any of the merchants there and unlocking those secret rooms with the fuses. They're, they've always got a, a zombie killer in there that's really aw awesomely powered. That's where I got a lot of my, my gear from. So just a recommendation there. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I noticed, like, so, for example, um, if you go in my inventory, 
I've got a legendary Emma's Wrath here, which right now is the best melee weapon I've got. Um, pretty, yeah, definitely by far. It's way more powerful than any of the other um, one or even two-handed weapons I've got right now. And um, But it's a level 23, so it's never going to be better than that. So eventually, as I get higher, that's going to be less and less powerful, right? Now, this is one I, I uh, this, this one is the one that my character Jacob got. So, and of course he's not using it anymore. So we put it in the, in the, uh, in the, in the uh, box there. And I went ahead and picked it up with, um, with Bruno here. So, but the good news is Bruno can go ahead and get his own friend, uh, Emma's Wrath by just doing the mission himself. And, um, so there that's another thing too so like i said whenever whatever level you're at when you complete those missions that's what level that gear is going to be including the legendary gear so that's cool so actually um i might be able to use that's one thing i don't know though is that um actually wait a minute no i do know it you know why i had a peggy on me when i claimed the the new i had the old peggy on me and i used that to help claim the new peggy for bruno um so yes, I can go and use Emma's Wrath to go get a new Emma's Wrath. I can do that, and then you'll end up with two Emma's Wraths. That do that does work. Yes, it does. So, um, or at least I think it does. We'll check it out. But first, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do this because I sure as heck don't want another level twenty three Emma's Wrath. So let's go ahead and do this one here. Um, the, we got to go to the pier for that. I'm definitely going in a day. Um, I love the fact that they give you the choice, but I would never choose night. It's too damn dark. And it's not because I'm scared, it's just because it's annoying. You can you can hardly see shit. So. All right, so there's always gonna be this big meathead down here when you're leaving this, the pure um, lifeguard tower. You can choose to fight him or not, it's up to you. Leaving, oh. it ain't as necessary. Just get out. Um, okay, so I want to go this way. That's a cool sunset. Shit, you know what? I want to cause some trouble here. Here you go. <laughs> hey, you like me now, huh? Hey, you like me now? Probably don't. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take out Emma's Wrath. Give her some swings. Alright, I'm supposed to be looking for Dez. Sounds like a bobcat. Oh, boy. Yeah. That was sweet. That was this freaking awesome area of effect that just freaking annihilates beasties. That's what's so great about Emma's Wrath. Bam, yeah. That's awesome shit. Okay, we got two more level uh, weapon drops, uh, rare, and then, um, I don't know what they call the next one, a blue and a red, but, uh, that's pretty awesome, and they're all dead, that, that was nothing, that looked like a pretty ang angry mob, but they did absolutely nothing, they didn't even touch me, freaking hammer's awesome, dude, and that looks like a bobcat, uh oh, Not from that. Oh, got another uh, super weapon. Bruno, 
<laughs> Your dead mother calls on me when she thinks a bobcat could use a hand. What? Oh, him's such a worrywart. I just got caught up in my experiments. So did Rab and Ask them later why Hannah might be worried about you, too. Yeah, fair. Look, long story short, I looted a grenade launcher, and I think I can make some pretty cool grenades with the stuff around here. I couldn't find a couple things on my shopping list yet, but I bet enough to test the concept. A grenade launcher? I wish we'd been introduced sooner. <laughs> you know, since you're here, you could join in on the field testing fun by herding the zombies into the proving ground. Uh, but like, I haven't got the mix right on some of the chemicals, so not gonna lie, it could be kind of dangerous. Ha! Ah, please! Kind of dangerous is just how my life is right now. <coughs> okay, what's that? <coughs> here we go! Uh, Should have worn right. earplugs. So what are we doing? Oh, hey, wait. Interesting. <coughs> Sweet. Oh, well, I can't look at my prototype. Better make him count. North now. North. That's pretty cool. Definitely don't recommend hitting one of them too hard. Because they tend to kind of, you know, blow up. Big boy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that exactly counts as science, but it's sure effective. So, what did you say about a shopping list? Oh, right. Well, I came here looking for four things, really. I already got a hold of two of them, and you saw the results. Yeah, a lot of damage for 50% power. One of the other two is... You're gonna think I'm nuts, but it's like zombie, uh, parts. There's a weird zombie in the main dome, see? And some of them have, like, extra group organs in them, and those... Can be combined with weaponry to use the zombie's mutation against them. And lucky for you, I'm up to speed on Zombie Biology 101. You are? Oh my god, we have got to share notes later. Okay, I was also looking for some Mother of Satan. Okay, that class, I think I skipped. <laughs> mother of Satan? AKA TATP, Triacetone Triperoxide. Can you really use Water Master's documents where it's stored while I keep looking at the main door? Oh, Triacetone Triperoxide. You should have just said that. Hi, back soon. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, gunpowder. Thank you. All right. So back in here again.
of course it's got to be in there. Oh, well, yeah. Well, then just do that. Oh, shit. Can't do that. Crap. Ow, ow, ow. Damn it. I don't want to shut this off. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey. Sweet. Accelerate. That sounds like some kind of speed booster. That's definitely something I'd be down with, for sure. Uh, anything else out here while I'm out here? Whoops. What's that? Oh. Bad boy. There. I took care of that. Oh, chemicals, sweet. Might as well make sure everything is all good to go. That's actually not a bad hammer. Use that later. Okay. So I took the battery out of that thing, so no more sparks. And ATP, street name, Mother Satan. Kept in storeroom three. Got it. Now back to the dome to let Desno. Okay. Guess I can't jump over the razor wire, unfortunately. So I guess that means I gotta go through this damn place. Oh, freaking wonderful. And then what? Over the truck? No. Oh, here we go. Shit. Why is that energized now? Why can't I go out this way? What the hell?
just want to run around this way, see if there's another way in. Oh, this looks promising. Um, it did. Oops. I'm going through here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, you freaking slow ass. Idiot. Oh man, this is fucking crazy. By the way, with those crushers there, when they're about to do their super jump into the ground shit, this freaking leap. And uh, you'll avoid getting stunned. Oh, crap. Damn it. I was so intent on fighting in combat, I wasn't paying attention to the fire burning me. Son of a... Oh, sweat. Sweet there. Always try to do those when you can. You get higher experience for doing one of those special kills. Stun kills, whatever. Okay. So, still trying to figure out how the frick... What the... How are you not dead? Now you are. Alright, still trying to figure out how the hell to get in here. There's literally nothing here. I already checked all that out and died in that trailer. Definitely, obviously, nothing that way. Can't go in there. This leads nowhere. Doesn't this happen every single time I'm in a you know, I'm in a mission? We're pretty close to it where there's something really f fucking stupid, some some way to get somewhere that's at least uh, at, at first not glaringly obvious. Those things still coming after me. I hope not. I hate those burning dudes. All right, so now I'm in here. Now oh, we're back to these guys again. Let's kill them. Just because we don't want to deal with that crap. All right, so now... Now this says go in here. See? Little blue thing says go in here. So I go in here, and I realize I've got to pull the battery again. Somehow it's... Back to being recharged. Right, so they're saying go this way. What the hell? Oops. I did not mean to throw that. Okay, so why that didn't work before, I couldn't tell you. But now they're suddenly working. Go figure. Okay. That happens too sometimes. It's just a game glitch where some door won't open or some shit like that. Together a few more surprises for them while you were gone. So let's get this shit done. Oh, bitch, you're going down. Oh, oh there it is! The weird screaming one! 
It's the one I need. Oh, damn. Holy crap. Holy crap. That screamer took three solid hits from Emma's Wrath and was like not phased. That's insane. All right, hold on. All right, let's wait till she pops out. Okay, there we go. All right, time to go hyper mode. That was the toughest siren I have ever fought in my life, dude. Holy crap. She took my whole freaking rage. And that's after nail whacking a crap out of her with Emma's wrath. That's crazy. I thought Rab and Bonzi were blowing smoke up my ass, but I take it all back. You, my friend, live up to the hype. Don't sweat it. I prefer to be underestimated. Anyway, the triacetone's in storeroom three. Can you work with that? Absolutely. Oh, and we should uh, call in and let Hannah know she can stop hyperventilating into a paper bag or whatever else it is she does for fun. <laughs> you know, this is a prime example of why she worries about you, right? Hannah, it's me. Calling in to say that Des will be coming home soon. Hi! Fuck. I thought the radio silence meant... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna rip a strip off her narrow ass when she gets back. She's there? She heard that? Good. Fuck. Look, you've done right by me. By all us Bobcats. So, I'm gonna do right by you. I found a code for a locked box or chest somewhere around the Lotusville Mall. No way, Hannah. You're parting ways with the Mystery Apocalypse goodie box? I thought you were planning a whole op around smacking it. Uh, well, you earned it. A couple times over. I think you'll be happy with what you find. I've hijacked a scope to push the info to your phone. Impressive. I think that's my cue to grab my loot and get back to the canal. Thanks again, though. It's been a fucking gas. See you around, ladies. When this is all over, I'll have to swing by your dorms and talk future business. Nice. Okay, and that is a wrap. Um, obviously, from here, what you want to do is get to the next, to the first available fast travel point. What I usually do after I've done a side mission is I just let the main mission go back onto default, just so I can find my way out of here. should lead us back to the lifeguard tower which is the only fast travel spot here in Venice be in this is this Venice Beach I don't know I think so that's a runner you want to take them out otherwise they will just chase you and then they'll get you when you least expect it which is annoying since I'm using him as wrath I'm probably going to take on Mr. Meat Puppet here. It should only take a couple of hits to kill him. And uh, hopefully he won't get a shot on me.
Oh man. Oh, 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 oh! Uh oh. Crap. He did get me. Yeah. A locker key? That was pretty awesome. Just waiting to be opened. Cool. More new shit. I'm down with that. Get back up here. Make the jump, which is always tough to do, just because of the way this these stairs are. It's a little tricky. All right. Check our inventory. We got some new goodies, which are probably next to useless. Um, so now we got to decide if I want to sell them or scrap them for parts. And since I'm at 11k and money goes pretty quick when we're repairing stuff, um, I am probably just going to sell these three items right here. Actually, what's this pistol looking like? It's a level 17. That's not going to do much for me. I've got a level 21 machine pistol, so we can sacrifice that. Not a big deal. Nail guns, eh, it's getting old, but it's still useful right now. So, yeah, these bottom four items, I'm going to go ahead and sell those. Crowbar, sell. Oh, now they put the pistol all the way up here, huh? Lucky for me, I knew it when I, when I, which one I wanted to sell. Um, this kukri thing here, that's, ugh, that's useless. And, uh, yeah, sell that. Okay, now go back to buy. I haven't really used any ammo, so we're good with that. I definitely need more of those. Full of those. Hey, Constant. Surprise. Hey, you won't believe this, but I swear I just saw some girl pulling a U and booking it to the pier. Hey, Constant. She has to come back out. Okay. So that is good. That was it. That was, uh... That was cool. So, appreciate you tuning in, and until the next adventure.